Welcome back, smarthelping.com here. I'm gonna go over the update quickly on the equipment rental templates. Um, I've updated all of them because I've got a general rental one and I've also got the original uh, rental uh, equipment rental model here. Uh, I did a two hour basically video of me going through and building all this stuff. So now I'm just gonna go give a brief overview of how it works so you can you know, figure, understand what happened without watching the two hour video. So what I did is, uh, you can watch the above video on the site or the, the other original uh, video to understand what's going on, but what I've added is, so we've got a bunch of purchases of units that are going to be rented out over, over time, and essentially what I've done is said, okay, once you start renting out a unit, you've got to figure out, well, do you, do you rent it out every month? Do you rent it out for four months at a time? for 36 months at a time because oftentimes there's going to be cost directly related to the amount of times you got to rent out something as well as, as well as possibly it when it gets returned so here i built a cost schedule uh, for every category that could have up to up to uh 10 co nine costs here and this total cost will then populate per unit this is a per unit cost um every time a unit is rented out and or returned if if return there's no fees you can zero that out or if you want to put it all into the the initial rental that's fine so you define that here the next schedule is you'll define the frequency so category one we're saying it's rented out every two months so you rent it out month one two three you rent out again for three four for five six etc and you can change these to anything like 12 and you can see it'll be every 12 months you'll do a new rental and so that uh, the rental return works the same way. It's just offset. So you can see the return happens the months before it's um, rented out again. So if you rent it for two months, and month one is the first month, month two will be when it's returned. And you can see there's a one in here. This one just designates uh, for each category in the life of a, a, a product purchase um, or a equipment or whatever you're renting out purchase this is the months that it gets rented out across um, and we did up to 16 months that will then uh we did have to do six seven eight nine uh four matrix tabs you can see uh this shows the units utilized rented out over time so you can see this is every two months so every two months we're renting out that many units it's going up because our utilization is rising over time um, as well as potentially there's more units being purchased over time. Uh, and no, 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 actually, no, that's, there's cohorts for each purchase group within the category. So this is just one, this is representing the first purchase, the second, and what happens to it over time. Then you've got the actual cost. So this is delivery or admin cost or whatever you want to tie directly to when a unit gets rented out. And it's going to figure out that cost times the amount of units being rented out. Uh, and that's obviously directly tied to your unit counts here. And all your utilization assumptions uh, as well as depletion. So that's the update. Uh, I think, and you can zero all this out if you don't want to make it, have it, uh, have that logic, no problem. Uh for the other equipment rental one, this is a little bit more simple, but generally for for each equipment rental slot, there's up to like, uh, how many slots are here? 100. You can do the frequency here. So this is like every six months, a tow, hour, tow more gets rented out to somebody else. Um, and then here's the total cost when it's rented out, total cost when it's returned. Again, you can zero out anyone that doesn't count or matter. And then based on the start date, here and the end date it's going to populate these two matrices to show um you see here's the cost so every six months in this case one or it starts in may and you see there's one two three four five six and then it's run out again one two three four five six and again and then the return is just basically one month offset from the month this the the month that it's rented out so here um, when, when this initial one's returned, it'd be returned the final month, which is one month before it gets rented out again. 
that's October 2020. So you can see here, October 2020. And then so on, and it goes down the line for all up to 100 slots. And then that just flows right into the monthly cash flow as a cost right here. You can update the months. Let's say I put it to three. Now, if I go to the matrix, uh, you can see it's now half rented out every three months. That cost is happening and the return uh, as well. So that frequency applies to everything dynamically based on what you put here. And then based on it, as long as it's between the start and end date, it's going to populate some number. And then based on whatever that cost is, it's going to populate. I thought this was a very good update for one of the most popular templates I've had. Um, a lot of sales on this one. So this just makes it better. There's also a V4 modified version, which has the exact same logic uh, for this frequency. I haven't built it yet. It's going to have the exact same logic. I'll probably get that done tomorrow. But it will be included in the purchase uh, if you purchase the equipment rental. Uh, this one and the other one are included. Uh and then this one's a separate one because it's just all new logic. All right, that's the update. Uh, if you want to purchase it, go to smarthelping.com. Or the link is in, in the description box below. And um, it's $45 one-time fee. I feel like that's a really good value. All right, see you guys.